are listening to KZT Commercial Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. In today's Bible, December 12, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'm bringing the narration by the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Missionary Message, 5 Bethlehem, Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him, and assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the hand of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. From you shall come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly, and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, goats, and frankincense, and mirrors. And being warned in a dream not return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. In today's Bible, December 12, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'm bringing the narration by the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Missionary Message, 5 Bethlehem, Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him, and assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the hand of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. From you shall come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly, and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother. And they fell down and worshipped him, then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, Goals and frankincense and mirrors, and being warned in a dream not return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way.
You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As I read this Bible, December 12, 2021, this is by Pastor David Shen. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's children's mystery message, Jesus is the way of worship. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin Beroth to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, December 12, 2021, this is preached by Pastor June Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's youth message, Spiritual Depression for Difficulties of Life. There, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 through 11. Therefore, since we are surrounded by by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us also lay aside every weight and sin which cleanse so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Look into Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, deprising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Do not grow weary. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have you forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons? My son, do not regret lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines disciples, the one he loves, and chastise every son whom he receives. It is for disciples that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not dis discipline? If you are left without discipline, in which all have participated, then you are legitimate children and not sons. Besides this, we have had earthly fathers who disciplined us, and, res and we respected them. Shall we not much more be 
subject to the Father of spirits and live? For they discipline us, discipline us for a short time, and it seems best to dis discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. But later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it.